Alright, if you're new here, this is an account where I try stuff so you don't have to. Everything I use is always linked in my Amazon. Just check for all the links on my Amazon account. Click the link in my bio and you will find it. Today I'm going to be telling y'all about these tape-ins I got. You know I try stuff out, so you don't have to go try it out. I had a friend of mine install these tape-ins because you're going to be feeling lazy. But these tape-ins came from Amazon. And they are a natural texture that match mine. It's kinky, curly. So I did a braid out, as you can see. Very versatile. You see no tapes. I hope. Maybe I don't see tapes. But I got them from Show Jarly. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This is the packaging. It came with some clips, extra tape adhesive for when the tape on this wears out. And we are on day two currently. So I'm going to post a whole review about these tape ins. But so far, so good. I like the quality. I have in three bundles, or I guess three sets. Each comes with 40. So I got the lens 18 and 220 inches. And so far, I am loving it. Like, I just did the braid out with mousse. But earlier, I flat ironed it and straightened it. It just was chef's kiss. So if you want to see the skincare products I use too, I have these. I've been growing my lashes out. It's a lash serum. Also a hydrating serum. I have a seaweed night cream. Pretty much everything I use is listed on my Amazon account. I can give you guys a full skincare routine. If you go subscribe to my YouTube, I do have videos dropping very soon. I've been a little behind and I apologize on that. But I have a lot of videos coming to you guys. I have two, vac uh, two vacation vlogs dropping. I also am going to give you a full skincare routine and I promise my routine is not hard. But this Kojic, Kojic Acid, it's Koji Sign, that's the brand, but <laughs> the Koji Acid. Oh, what the fuck is this? Am I even saying that right? Maybe I should look up words before I make videos, but this soap is the truth. I have literally used it every single day. It just is. It's not harsh, but it does strip your face, and that's what I needed because I have combination skin. So I'm oily all around here, sometimes dry in the T-zone, but then it reverses. So if you have some skin you're really trying to lift and clean, it definitely has tackled hyperpigmentation for me. But also, it's a deep cleanser, and that's I find myself using surface cleansers, and my face wasn't getting as clean as I wanted. So you get this soap. I'm pretty sure it'll be worth it. If you get this soap, it'll definitely be worth it. You just have to make sure you do the proper care after. So what I do is I take my Bioma, and that's the hydrating serum after I wash my face, and I just did it, so I'm gonna show you guys. I take three drops of this, and I got this from Ulta. So the Bioma brand is there. I put one on my forehead and two on each cheek. Well, one on each cheek. So then I just take my fingertips and my hands are clean. I'm going to work that in. And if you don't know, guys, the right way to clean your face is an upward motion. We're fighting against wrinkles. If you're pulling down, you're making your face saggy. So you clean upward, rub in that hydrating serum. I just get it all over. Right? And this is what has been working for me. If you have something that works for you, cool beans if you want to try mine cool but I don't think there's a super right or wrong way it really depends on your skin and what works for you this is what's worked for me don't shoot the messenger but after I do that I tend to either depending on if it's early in the day I use this at the very beginning of my day it's a hyaluronic acid deep hydration face cream so it is from the brand fresh I also got it from Ulta I'm going to have to put the link to it, though. I'm sure they have it on Amazon. Or, at night, I use the Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream. So that's what I'm going to use now because it pairs with the, the other Bioma product. So I'll take pretty much the same amount, but start at the bottom. Dot, dot, dot. Right? 
And then I just worked in in the same way. Moving upward. I know you see me like in a circle down here, but that doesn't matter to me. And then I just worked it up. I closed my eyes. I try to get it all around. You see how I'm not like beating my face. I'm just rubbing it in. So that's what I do. And then I have a nice face care routine for that. And after that is done, I'll let that kind of sit a little bit. And I bought the Babe Lash Essential Serum. So I used to get lash extensions all the time and I'm that impatient person. It's never the, the lash tech's fault in my case. My lash techs were amazing. My problem was when one falls out or two fall out, if I can't make it for the refill, I want them all gone. So I would take my fingers and just be plucking them off at work and plucking them off in class, sitting at home watching TV, plucking my lashes off. Do not do that. There are oils and makeup removers that will take that off. It is not worth the hassle. So long story short, I was bald eyed. Bald eyed. I had no lashes to work with y'all. I was bald eyed. <laughs> I had nothing. So I'm like, I gotta grow my lashes back because if I keep getting the extensions, I'm gonna keep doing the same thing. And I get the extensions, they'll grow a little bit, and then I double back and do it. So I'm like, let's stop getting lashes and focus on the health of my eyes, on my eyelashes. And I'm like, if I can't repair them, I don't deserve lashes. So that's how I treated myself. So now, if y'all, I don't know if y'all can see, look at them now. Oh, look at the cream on the side of my head. Wow. But look at them now. Y'all see that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They have grown in and it has only been a few months so I subscribe to this on YouTube so if you go check the link in my bio again on Instagram or anywhere I subscribed to a delivery of this I think it comes every three months every month I don't remember I think you can choose but I subscribe to have it automatically delivered so by the time it's almost out I pretty much have another one coming in so this has been working for me what I do is I just take it while that moisturizer is setting in Close my eyes and I rub it just on my lash line, top and bottom. I like to hit the bottom as well because I want my bottom lashes to grow up. Try to go on the inner corners because that's where I kind of notice the most breakage. And I just rub that on my eyelid with my pinky. And I do this every morning and night sometimes. I skip the morning and I only do it at night depending on if I'm in a rush. And then we just do the other side. And that's that. Typically, I would use this toner. This is more one of my morning things. In the morning, after I scrub my face, sometimes I'll use this toner, which I can also link for you guys. It's also the Fresh brand, so I bought a lot of things from Fresh. I'm going to find it, put that link up. But I'll take that, put it on a cotton pad, and just wipe my face after I use that cleanser, then go in with my moisturizers just to restore moisture because your face is going to be real dry. And after all of that is said and done, you, this is optional, I ice roll. I take my ice roller out of the freezer, which I also have on Amazon. I can link for y'all. I'm going to make a um, tab just under skincare or self-care. So when you go on my Amazon, it's going to be there. But I take my face roller out of the freezer. I face roll upward again because we want to, you know, build the anti-wrinkles. We, we fight against wrinkles. And then I take my rose water and glycerin. This brand has been working for me. This is what I got off of Amazon. I know there are other brands out there. Use what works for you. This is just my routine. I take this. I am a heavy sprayer. I overuse everything. But I want it to miss like from right to left. Straight up and down and across. I want to hit every part of my face. And I just let that sit on there. I let that face glisten. And I go watch Scandal, have a glass of wine, you know, whatever it is that I do. You see my hair is already set. So that's pretty much my nighttime routine when it comes to skin. Just make sure you are finding something that works for your skin first. If you don't know your skin type, kind of look it up. Do some research, figure out, am I usually dry here? Am I usually oily? Is it like a combination? You kind of have to know what you're working with to know what you got to work with, you feel me? So yeah, that is my full skincare routine. Pretty much down to the T. Of course, wash your face with soap. Other than that one, I use just like Dove. And the only, the only lotion that ever, ever touches my face is Lubriderm. 
I get the blue or the pink one for obvious reasons. I get the pink, you know, but they're out of the pink. I get the blue, but Lubriderm is the only thing that touches my skin. And maybe here and there some cocoa butter, but I'm picky about those brands too. So that is my full skincare routine. If you want your skin glowing and dewy like mine, just go ahead and watch the video. But also keep in mind your skin type. So test these products lightly. Do not take things and just start smearing them all over your face. Test them a little. Monitor them for the next few days. Please, for the love of all that is love, don't mess up your skin and come blame me. You have to know what works for you. Yeah. But if y'all want the hair care routine, I'm going to come back and give y'all that too. I'm pretty sure that's going to be in here somewhere. The tapings are taping, honey. The tapings are taping. But I love y'all. I'ma see y'all next time. Um, that was it for skincare. I'm no guru. I'm not a like I go to school for cosmetology. I know a little bit about facials and but I'm still learning too. So y'all are learning with me. So don't come for me. You get one little pimple because you did something wrong or that product doesn't work for you. Monitor it. That's what I say, sisters and brothers. Monitor. Do what works for you, boo. Do what you gotta do. Alright? Okay.